Hello guys, um, today we're going to be playing some uh, European Escalation airline battle. Uh, we're going to start off with Die Hard, campaign Die Hard. Very small, um, so we're just going to start with this. Okay, probably finish this in a vid one video to be honest. So, launch the offensive. First objective, 227th Guard, tank regiment must drive... The Swedish tanks that are defending Malmo from the field. Okay. So, there's Malmo. Uh, we can't bring anything in yet. So, there's our 227th Guards Tanks Regiment. And we're going to move to Malmo. Again, we have, can't spend any political points right now. So, that's basically our only move is moving the tank regiment to Malmo. So, send orders. You see, they're moving from Kalmar to Malmo. As you can see here, okay, a conflict is occurring in Zone Malmo at 12 p.m. We've got the 227 GTR starting victory starting points 250, victory points 1250. So I need I can spend 200 two and a half thousand points to begin with, and I only need to destroy 12,005 uh, 1,250 points of enemies to win. Okay, so they're starting with 1,700, and they need to destroy 2,000 points of my equipment. Okay, so obviously I'm starting at an advantage because I have more morale um, and organization so six three five three okay so we're going to launch battle okay so in blue is where they will start or their possible starting locations in white are areas we can capture and red is where i'm going to start okay so i get five points so each one of these numbers it's points that gets added to your production menu. So here I can get five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this logistic base to there. Because I know, because I've played this a million, a million times, that they deploy here. So I'm going to stick a fob there. And then I'm going to stack it uh, with tanks. and ATGM launches because basically what happened is as soon as they spawn my guys will start engaging them and I'll be able to take out a huge amount of enemy in a very very short amount of time so I want to get some get two MiG-29s MiG-29S and Dawn Infantry I'll get some infantry just to defend here, just in case to try and move through here. So yeah, if we launch battle now, you'll see. There you go. Boom. So yeah, straight away, we've got hundreds, hundreds of points worth of kills. Pull the air power in because they've got cluster bombs. There we go. Let's take out this aircraft. Yeah, there we go. You back? I don't. Th oh no, I lost. I tell a lie, I lost one vehicle in that. So that went much better than I could have hoped. And we destroyed 625 points worth of uh, equipment. Look at that. Slaughtered. So, best tactic. That was, well, it was that was a good tactic, wasn't it, let's be honest. Give me some credit, guys. That was good. Unload these. Move the BMPs to there because they have an ATGM capability as well as a 75mm gun. So they are really good for um, taking out tanks. What are you doing? It's alright, don't matter. He can stay there until uh, 
our uh, book and um, ones turn up, and then he's just gonna get smashed, get pasted. Um, oh, oh, what have we got here then? What have we got? Oh. So see that? Yep, they're moving a large number of troops. That's okay, it's not a problem. We'll take that out. Artillery is worth a lot of points in this game, so it's well worth taking artillery out. Um, take out that V gun. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, I didn't lose that. Stop. There you go. Aircraft as well is worth a lot of points. And what you've got to remember is if any vehicles, aircraft, whatever is destroyed in the battle is no longer available in the next battle. So taking out aircraft is ideal. Because they've lost two aircraft there, which they cannot use again now in the next battle. I've not lost any. So that's a winner. Where are these guys going? Let's see if we can follow these. And possibly call airstrikes on them. Get out of there. Ah, yes. Silly bastard. Right, let's get another one. Right, so they are moving into position and they're going to target that aircraft. Boom, sleep. There you go, 25 points, easy. When these... Mm, yeah, go on. Send in the SU-24. Keep an eye out as well for any NATO aircraft they might bring in to try and intercept the SU-24. Can't see anything. Boom, there we go. So I've almost won already. Another air strike and the game is won. So I'll get another SU twenty nine uh, MiG twenty nine. Take out the AA. That's it's beautiful. So this should be it now. Oh no, so that was only 20 points. Right, okay, fine. Fine. Take out this Bacan. Eighty-five points. There you go, Doug. Win. So that was quick and easy. So I lost 90 points worth of men, which was, I think, yeah, so I lost the Sturm, Sturm S and the MI2, but I mean, look what they lost, which they can't replace, so, brilliant. Okay, so total victory. Now they're withdrawing to Copenhagen, and we're going to follow them to Copenhagen. So now we can deploy... The Mutterschutz Regiment, the German Armoured Regiment, and we're going to deploy the guards, and we're going to follow them to Copenhagen, so we'll send orders. There you go, Panzerbrand has been destroyed. Okay, we've got Aarhus, Aarhus, or whatever you say it, so we're going to move the Mutterschutz. Destroy resistance with nuclear weapons. Ooh, we're going to take it that far now, are we? Nuclear war, bitches. Okay, so there goes Motor Schutzen and the Guards Regiment. There we go. And we'll take out the Panzer Brigade. And this should be pretty easy. Look at that, yep. Yeah. So look at that. 2,500 points. 1,500 to win. They start with 900, nearly 2,000 to win. Okay, so again, they usually deploy to here, 
and they just sort of ped, piddle around a bit. Um, so this is going to be very artillery based, I guess you could say. So we'll get some Cub M's for air defence, obviously. Tanks, okay, we've got the T-55A M I P B. Okay. The Germans so basically in this game each unit, so this is the, the motor shuts. They have German equipment or you know, so they have the KPZ T fifty five, whatever. Um not great, not a great tank. Cheap. So you can buy large numbers of it. C thirty and there's forty of them. So we'll get twelve of them. And these are basically just for defence. To defend the fob and the um, command vehicle. Infantry. Um, he, right. Um, so we uh, My lord, just... So we'll get four there, and then we'll get some. So one, four deployed in this wood line here, and then four along here, and then we want tanks, uh, artillery, accuracy, four. Oh, we'll get four of them anyway. Uh, so May 23 BNs. Um so that bomber fighter and that's um both makes both it can do both. Um what else do we want? Or was that it for now? You know what? I think that'll do for now. Get Recky up here. Unload. Okay, as you can see, see there you go. So what we're we facing here, we've got Leopard ones, I think. Um, the Marder as well, that's a bit of a beast because it has ATGM capability. No le befehle, Commandant. Okay. So, unload. What we're going to try and do is wait, because usually what they do is they, they'll go to a form-up location, wait there. Um, and then once we're in that form location, we will hit them with artillery and air. Right, we'll get these guys deployed just to provide air support for the ground attack aircraft, just in case they bring in any fighters. Doesn't look like they are. There we go. Oh, what's that? There we go. We'll take that out. Oh, shit. Shit, we lost an aircraft. That's not good. Take out their flak panzers. What's another aircraft? This is quite painful. Mm. So we know there is air anti air infantry in there so we're gonna a bit of a suicide run to be perfectly honest. Mm. 
Yeah, there we go. 120 as well. I think we took out the, one of the command vehicles. Brilliant. Um, so where's he moving to? You know, we'll get a couple of helis. We'll see, you can see them moving up some Marda Rollins, which are obviously um, anti tank missiles. Some MI8s coming in with ATGM. Crap, let's get it done here. Shit. I am running out of aircraft. Is there a bloody AA manned in here? So it looks like they're going to move. Let's get another Raki Elo up. Oh, excuse me. Okay, come on. Where's this helo? Uh, um, might just deploy a fuck ton of um, these guys. Because, like I said, they've got... Okay, it's where the defences are going to get tested here now. Yes. Right, let's get some logistics, keep these guys supplied with ATGM. That's the point of having them. Yes, 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 that's what we want. Go to command all. Bloody got aircraft infantry. Right, 
All right, so I need another... About, well, no, almost another 750 points. There goes our supply vehicles. Get out of there, get out of there. IFV attack onto their main position. That mod is going to get hammered once he gets in range of our infantry. With the RPG 2. I am giving them easy points here, but that's not a problem. Best defense is a good offense and all that good stuff. Pinned. What's he doing? Bit of any aircraft fire. Guys, get them rearmed. And we'll provide some fire support, some artillery. And we'll move the tanks up. That aircraft destroyed. Man sagt, ein guter Speer ist einer, den man nicht sieht. Right, so they're holding. Right, there you go. The tanks are going to get in on it now. One's quite a big threat to these tanks because they are, well, T 55s. Luckily, we have more than they do. There we go. And we can certainly replace our vehicles much cheaper than they can, so that's a plus.
Okay, so we're going to go capture that. Vehicle. Helos are good. To go. See that range difference there, that leopard can out gun us. Not by much, but they can. That's fine, we'll just close the distance. The accuracy is shocking. Right, we captured it. Why haven't we captured it? We'll take them out with the air power. Oh yes, look at that. Right, bye bye. There we go, Jaegers are destroyed, and we've captured that. Let's move fast and capture Obviously, we can capture enemy logistics vehicles, and if we do capture them, they will be available in the next mission. Or in the next battle. Which is good. Oh, we've captured their pop as well. Brilliant. Right, so let's get our guys fully rearmed and re-equipped. Right, so where are the rest of the enemy? Let's go and have a look. Let's see if we can find them, shall we? Well, there's one. Take out those Jaegers. There we go. We're not going to chicken dinner. Okay. So again, another decisive victory. Yep, we had some casualties. Well, we had a few casualties. Um, oh well. There you go. Battle group destroyed. Total victory. And I think that's it. I think that's... That's this campaign. Like I said, it's really short, this one. Yep, there you go. Arhus was taken. Taking Arhus was the main objective of your campaign. This victory gains you 100 morale points. Okay, boom, done. Now under NATO, uh, now under General Gruber's control, Western leaders call Arhus a scandal to the UN. The NATO forces are in a very bad position in the north of Germany. Back at the negotiating table, Soviet diplomats in a much stronger position. Brilliant. So that's a total victory for that. Okay, job's good in. Thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to move on to the next one, which will be Fortress Oslo in a minute. Or in the next video, sorry. We'll be playing as NATO in that one. Um, so yeah, I hope you join me for the next one. And I hope you enjoyed that. So um, yeah, I don't really, there's not really much else to say, is there? Thank you very much, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.